Hello guys, welcome to BISVSolution.com. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to create organization chart in OBI. As you all aware in OBI there is no way to present data in organization manner. I mean you would like to display a tree kind of a structure to present organization chart. But we can still achieve this by using Google APIs. So in today's example I am going to show you uh, how you can pass an argument dynamically from OBI to prepare organization chart. Before we proceed further, I like to show you what we are going to achieve today. My at the end of the day, I'm going to show you how to prepare this organization chart, uh, and I'm going to pass this this uh, OBI analysis output to my organization chart in order to render this dynamically. This is a typical chart which talk about. Uh, between supervisor and subordinate hierarchy. So Google APIs provide a pre-built package called organization chart to draw the chart. Uh, we would pass argument dynamically to my APIs and it render the chart on the fly. Let's see how it work. Before I proceed further I'll show you how it look like. So I just copy this code snips to my uh, to my notepad and wrapper it under HTML and save it as a HTML. So I already prepared one. I'll open this into my notepad to show you what exactly I did. See, I've taken the whole code snips and put it over here and wrapper it under HTML tag. So I'm going to pass these values as a static value in my in order to draw the chart and later on I would replace this static value with a dynamic value to be passed by OBI. So let's run this and see how it look like. This is my chart which shows an organization structure. Right? Let's start this step by step. So in order to design this, we first understand some of the important packages and classes required over here. So the first you should be knowing the loading method. Google.load package name is organization chart. And when I call google.load, I pass three argument. One is visualization, one, and package name is organization chart. Then we initialize this where visualization equals to new instance of google.visualization.organization chart and pass container as my object. The second part of my script says this is a, I've taken a piece of my script to demonstrate how loading work. The next step you need to specify data format. Basically we create a virtual table with three columns and we pass the value to the uh, to the rows of the virtual table. So there are three columns, column 0, 1, 2. The first column is node ID and it has to be unique. The node ID work like a child node. Second column is a parent, first column is a child. So it's basically a parent-child relationship. Third column is optional which define the tool tips. Right, so what I did I use data dot add column method and I pass two argument. First data type is a string and second name of it. So first one is name of my uh, name, second one is manager. The name could be salesperson, sales executive and the manager is second column is manager. Right, so this become a, this become a child node first column and second column become parent node. And third column it's optional whether I can keep it or not, doesn't matter. In this third column I specify tooltips. Right? So what data format? We discussed this is an example of it. You see, we create a user defined function called draw chart, which in turn call there's a predefined method called chart.draw. Chart.draw takes two arguments, data and option, and it doesn't return anything. What does it do? It draws a chart. So draw chart is a user defined uh, method over here which where we initialize our visualization new dot google dot visualization dot data table and three create three column in it right and I pass a static value. What I am going to do this in OBI I will replace this static value and pass this value dynamically. I do this in two steps first I create a variable of array type and then I pass my column name at the rate column 1, column 2 which is my uh, request column to my this array. So I create a 
variable called my organization array and I use push method and call this value pass this argument column 1 and column 2 and eventually I call the draw chart and my data is my array in this example I pass my organization my org chart and second is your container which allow HTML colon true value right let's do this hands on so step first I'm going to design an analysis and then I put this code snippet in my uh, narrator view because I can call all JavaScript component under narrator VBScript or JavaScript components okay let's create a new analysis file new analysis I'll be using my source as sample sales and I need only two column to visualize this I need sales manager and sales executive right so I use sales manager uh, I need a child node first so I'll use sales representative and then sales manager the column position matters right so sales salesperson name become my column position one and column position two right let's visualize this right now the default view is a tabular view and I want this to be render as organization chart so I'm going to add this narrative view over here under other view you can place a narrative view in a narrative view the first part of my script remains same well I'm going to put my narrative view with, is this in the bottom uh, I'll drag and drop and put it at the top I do not need a tabular view I'm just showing you in order to make it easy to understand I'll add it in narrative view and the previous code this part of the script is remain same doesn't change except I create one add. so what I do I just take a piece of the script and pass it over there this part would be my prefix right oh, oh did not copy correctly let me do it again I copy this and I paste it over here just copy that's my pre prefix script and just now I declare one array call I declare an array over here called my array and uh, one temporary string right my array is a variable I declare I'm going to pass the value to the my array so I use my organization array my org array I pass two argument to this dot push use the push method and pass two argument under square braces at the rate column position one and column position two right and close this let me correct this this will come under round parenthesis so my organization array push method I cause pass two argument that's it then I write a post post phase script so post phase script I simply couple from my scripting node this part would be my post script copy this and paste it over there I copy it and paste it over here and this is my post script part post fix script right we are ready now let's render this so I would save it and run it save it call google org chart I'll save my folder google organization chart I'm going to render it click on done and that's it right I'm going to render this in my uh, I'll use the dashboard view but it takes a little time in processing it's done now uh, you know I need to look at the dashboard view click on dashboard view and here's your chart I also need to further deal with one thing like if we have a missing value it is showing with a hyphen so as you pass the value my organic chart get rendered this example demonstrate you even if OBA doesn't support some functionality still we can make use of Google API's and visualize them 
so that's it for today keep watching our subscribe to our youtube channel and keep watching our more video for training and inquiry you can mail to us at support.bhpsolutions.com thanks for watching today's video and have a great day ahead thank you